the United States Constitution is really designed to protect individuals from excessive intrusion on behalf of the government. And the courts have never required the, read the Constitution or interpreted the Constitution to impose rights. There's no right to housing, no right to food and nutrition, and of course no right to health care. What the courts have said is if the elected representatives want to impose a right to health care, Congress can do so under the Constitution. It's not the court's responsibility to determine which rights the people should have. It's the court's responsibility to protect individuals against intrusion by the federal government or, or state government. One of the one of the most interesting and difficult political questions now being discussed is where should, if we're going to have reforms, they be developed at the state level or at the federal level? If you look at the history, there's been consistent failure of enacting federal legislation, but the states haven't done much better over the last 30 years. So you have to ask, which level of government is best positioned to uh, develop a right to health care and implement it? My own view is that because of the, the cost of developing a universal health care, because of the expertise needed and the, the inability of states to afford coverage for all the citizens, If it's going to happen, it will have to be a federal responsibility. We have this really deplorable situation in the United States where um, population groups of color, um, the poor, have uh, much worse health status than the predominant population, the white population, and and more wealthy people. And... um, you can look at just about any health statistic uh, that we tend to follow, such as infant mortality rates or life expectancy or age-specific mortality rates. Um, black populations, Latino populations, Native American populations tend to have much worse experience in those measures. Will creating a universal health care system, as is really advocated in this movie, um, will that change those big disparities in health status between these groups? And I think, unfortunately, the answer is no, it won't. Um, Those conditions are um, very much related to poverty. They're related to discrimination. They're related to environmental justice. Um, There are a whole set of conditions which um, affect poor populations and populations of color over the course of their lifetime, which uh, have a cumulative effect of leading to these high death rates and um, high uh, disease rates. Um, Healthcare is not going to change that. What we really need to think about, and I think Michael Moore really tried to get at this point in the movie, that society has to think um, more collectively and and think about how do we uh, create an environment for young children, Uh, children of color, uh, low-income children, which they can get good education, they can have decent housing, uh, their parents can have uh, real good jobs, uh, they can live in an environment that has healthy air and water. Those are all things that are going to lead to more health. And we really haven't um, addressed that issue if we're only talking about uh, creating a universal health care system. What we in the university hope we can contribute to all this is some research uh, about what's working and what's not working perhaps so well in the U.S. healthcare system and in terms of public health. And we have a lot of really exciting research projects going on in the Department of Health Management and Policy and other departments in the School of Public Health as well. Uh, In particular, we have some really exciting research centers in the School of Public Health Uh, which includes the uh, research center called the Economic Research Initiative for the Uninsured. And this is a group of uh, people, not only at the University of Michigan, but economists throughout the whole country who are coming together to really think about economic issues underpinning uh, some of the reasons why we have almost 50 million uninsured people in the United States and what might work in terms of different policy strategies for dealing with that problem. 
We have another research center uh, in the Department of Health Management and Policy, which is called the Value-Based Insurance Design Center. And in this center, we have a group of researchers who are looking at different ways of constructing uh, health insurance plans that will be efficient economically, but also do as much as they can to promote the health of the people who are being insured. The thing that brings us all together is our interest in actually preventing illness and disease before it happens.